Hey guys, this is Sam from Kingdom of Airsoft, and uh, today we just have uh, a little video about the G&G L85 gearbox. So this is the, the lower half of the gearbox. It's got a couple of really cool features that I like. You've got the kind of the, the, uh, the removable motor cage, and um, you've got your uh, anti-reversal latch release there, which is quite nifty. So if you get a lockup, just push on that and that'll release the, the gears, which is very handy. And obviously the, uh, the kind of quick detach top half of the gearbox there. Now, one feature that's often misunderstood is this funky set of wiring at the front here. So what that is, basically kind of hardwired electric braking. It stops the motor faster. Um, so when the trigger block inside here snaps back into the rearward position it connects into this extra wire back onto the motor and stops the motor faster so just to kind of prove that that's what it is and it's not uh, as has commonly been said um, the pre-cocking mechanism which is actually the cutoff the position of the cutoff cam on the original sector gear um, i will show you it on semi-auto and you'll notice that the gears always stop at exactly the same point So that's very nice. Um, so we'll show you the difference. Uh, we'll chuck it onto full auto, and uh, what I'll do is I'll push the trigger in, let the gear spin up, and then I'll ease the trigger out, uh, which will break the circuit, but it won't engage this active braking, th this uh, electric braking circuit here. You see the gears take quite a long time there to, to spin down, but if we push it in and then bring it back kind of in a slightly more snappy manner, the gears stop a lot faster, which is really nice. And on semi-auto, again, stops exactly the same position every time. I think it's a really cool little little design there. Um, that is quite often overlooked or misunderstood. Um, and it shouldn't pose any problem, well, it doesn't pose any problem to uh, running MOSFETs or um, anything else, really. You just need to occasionally make sure the contacts are, are cleaned out and make sure you've got the little spacing shims uh, underneath the bracket here to make sure it's not uh, going to cause any binding of the, the trigger block. There we go.